bells, cheering and pancakes going flying is not what you would expect of a typical morning in Salisbury Cathedral. But on Tuesday, that's exactly what you would have been greeted with as Pancake Day arrived with a bang in the city. But despite the fun and laughter, there was a serious message behind the event. It's Shrove Tuesday, and so it's to highlight Shrove Tuesday. But it's also a community event, so we have attracted runners from the businesses and organisations of the city centre. But also we're working in uh, conjunction with Trussell Trust and the Food Bank, and so it's to raise awareness of the need about food poverty, about the issues which families face, and uh, to highlight the good work of the Trust and the Food Bank. It was organised by the Trussell Trust and St Thomas's Church. And just as the residents of Salisbury turned out on a rainy morning to soak up the atmosphere, there was a strong community feeling behind the day, despite the last-minute change in venue. Normally we would be running down the high street, we've done that for five years, but because of the weather, the cathedral very kindly have allowed us to uh, run the race this year in the cloisters, so that's why we're here. As the, one of the city centre churches and the fact that we are community orientated, this is very much us working with the local businesses and uh, shops of the high street and the city centre. And so it's part of our mission, part of our ministry, and uh, we see it as being part of the family of the city centre. There were eight teams in total who all took part in various heats before facing off in the finals. Representatives from the Salisbury Diocese, Barclays, Sarum College and the Friends of Salisbury Cathedral were among the participants in a staggering turnout. And for the Trussell Trust, the event is an important part of their annual fundraising calendar. This is a brilliant event. It's a real chance for us to raise our profile within the community. Obviously, Trussell started in Salisbury, so the people of Salisbury have got a big heart for what we're doing. And it's really nice to share in that and just have an opportunity to raise money and raise the profile and just to, um, remind them of what we're doing for the community. It's fantastic. I, mean, I work in fundraising. Fundraising should be fun. You don't get more fun than pancake race on a rainy Tuesday um, in the community. It brings everybody together and uh, it puts Trussell Trust on the map. Teams were battling it out for the much-coveted golden frying pan, which was eventually won by a member of the 4th Salisbury Scouts group. And I caught up with some of the other day's heat winners fresh off the finishing line. I take part in it every year because I love St Thomas's, I work for Salisbury Diocese and I think it's great what they do for the food bank. I did win! Absolutely static. I love coming. It's great centre, even if you win or you lose, it's just great to be able to come here. It's good to like raise money for food bank and everything, plus you get to flip pancakes, <laughs> so it's good. Oh, it's so good. It's such a great turnout for Salisbury as well, considering the weather. Whilst it was a morning of flipping good fun for most, organisers hope to also raise awareness and significant funds for the Trussell Trust and the Salisbury Food Bank. Rhea Barton, That's TV.